Collection Services, which is along with Airco, to do that in another place. Your Excellency, sir, uh, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, uh, the Deputy President and the Principal Cabinet Secretary, let us pray. My Lord and my God, I firmly believe that you're here, that you see us, that you hear us. We adore you with profound reverence. We ask your pardon for, your, for our sins. We pray for our country, Kenya. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you most sincerely for the gift of our country, Kenya. May we always be good stewards of it, taking care of it, cherishing peace and unity and prosperity. We pray for our beloved President, Dr. William Samoy Ruto. Heavenly Father, guide and protect, direct and govern him each day, that he may lead this great nation with wisdom, courage, counsel, discernment to greater heights of peace, unity, and prosperity. May we always firmly stand with him and by him in loyalty and fidelity. We pray for all other leaders that you may lead all and that they may walk in humility before you and before all men and always seek your counsel so as to be loyal, dedicated, and committed to be servant leaders. We pray for all security agencies, and in particular for the State Department for Correctional Services, that we may all carry out our mandate with consistent excellence. Heavenly Father, we thank you for our outgoing Commissioner General of Prisons. He served well and with faithfulness. Bless his all future endeavors as he begins a new chapter of life. Bless our incoming Commissioner General of Prisons that he may be selfless in fidelity, commitment, and in teamwork, so as to lead the Kenya Prison Service to greater heights. Finally, Lord, keep us all united. May, be, may we be one as you, Father, are one with the Son and the Holy Spirit, for a kingdom divided will not stand. Enable us to put on the full armor of God, the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shoes of peace, the shield of faith, helmet of salvation, and the sword of spirit, which is your word. For we ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord grant us his peace and life everlasting. Amen. You may all kindly take your seats. Your Excellency the President, Your Excellency the Deputy President, the Chairpersons and Vice Chairpersons of the National Assembly Committee on Legal and Administrative Administration and Internal Security, the Solicitor General and Principal Secretaries present, Honorable Guests and Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen, good morning. This state ceremony is convened pursuant to Article 74 of the Constitution and the Prisons Act for the swearing-in of the newly appointed Commissioner General of Prisons. Your Excellency appointed the Commissioner General of Kenya Prison Service in accordance with the Prisons Act as part of the changes to key organs of our homeland security, as notified through Executive Order No. 7 of 2024. Sir, to facilitate the administration of the solemn oath of office, the incoming Commissioner General of Prisons will first be installed into the rank of Commissioner. With Your Excellency's kind indulgence and gracious permission, I now invite you, sir, as a Commander-in-Chief of our nation's, nation's Defence Forces, to confer and install Mr. Patrick Muiti Arandu with the rank of Commissioner. Your Excellency will be assisted in the investiture of rank by the outgoing Commissioner General Brigadier Retired John Warioba. Your Excellency, sir, kindly take your place at the installation arena.
Your Excellency, we now present Mr. Patrick Mwiti Arandu for the conferment of the rank of Commissioner General. Sir, it is now my humble duty to present the Commissioner of Prisons to take their solemn oath of office, of due execution of office by the Mr. Patrick Mwiti Arandu. I, Patrick Mwiti Arandu, do swear that I will well and truly serve the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Commissioner General of Prisons of the Kenya Prison Service and that I will do justice in accordance with this Constitution of Kenya as by law established and in accordance with the laws and customs of the Republic without fear or favor, affection or ill will. So help me God. Your Excellency, sir, we now Your Excellency, with the highest ranking officer of our nation's correction facilities having assumed office, it is now my humble duty and proud privilege to invite Your Excellency to convey your congratulations to the new Commissioner General of Prisons. I thank you, Your Excellency. privilege and honor to participate in this solemn occasion when we install our new Commissioner General of our prison service. My congratulations to you, Commissioner General Mwiti, um, for this very well-deserved appointment as Commissioner General in a career that has seen you put many years behind the prison service, I am persuaded and confident that the responsibilities that have been assigned to you as Commissioner General by virtue of this appointment are merited and the prison service is looking forward to your leadership as you lead the prison's team in making sure that our correctional services are managed appropriately in the best interest of the country. And the reform process that is going on at the prisons will be undertaken under your watch and stewardship. And I want to pledge and commit my support and that of the entire government to you and the prison service as you undertake 
the great transformation that we want of the prison service. As you are aware, we have a big program that is being undertaken by the prisons on tree planting. I will be very keen to see what the service is going to do by way of contribution to this very important national uh, program. As you're also aware, we have a whole food production process where prisons is involved. Um, you already know that uh, a few thousand acres of land under the prisons are now under food production. It is my expectation of you to make sure that every arable piece of land under the prison service is put under food production for purposes of supplying food to the prison service and by extension to the country. You are also aware that um, we are undertaking a huge program on ensuring that our prison service have decent housing. We will be working with you and your team to identify the areas, to work with uh, the department, State Department of Housing to ensure that our prison officers, men and women, live in decent um, housing across the country. And again, I will be expecting of you to provide the leadership and stewardship in that area so that we can accelerate the housing program of our prison men and women. Um, as a commitment that I made to our men in uniform, from this month we will be uh, living up to our, our commitment to enhance the salaries of our policemen, our prison officers, um, in line with our commitment that we made. So um, you come into office with uh, good tidings for the men in the prison service because this month they will have their first uh, installment of increment of salaries together with the other security agencies as a commitment I made uh, last year. Again, uh, Mr. Commissioner, that puts on your shoulders a heavy responsibility of greater expectation of both the country and myself, of your service, and of course of all the other uh, government agencies, services, and departments. Again, from me, um, congratulations, my very best wishes, and as I have said, I look forward to working with you in making sure that our prison service move to the next level. Asante sana, Pongezi, and thank you to your family. I know they are here for the support that they have given you in the service you have given to the nation. Asante sana. Thank you. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. With your kind permission, I request that we have a brief photo session still there. So while there, I request that the rest of us be seated kindly. And I request that Your Excellency be rejoined by the incoming Commission General, Mr. Patrick Arandu, for the photo session.